this video I'm going to attempt something quite different. I'm going to try this painting. A nice scene, a couple of boats, and this is quite a challenge, so I don't know if it's going to turn out. And um, hopefully, I'll get the scene right. Let's not waste any more time, let's get straight into the video and uh, see what we can do. Okay, now first things first, I uh, just wanted to point out um, this section, I guess, of the painting is the day after. So you can see I've already done my initial pencil sketch and I wanted to just get a bit of a head start. I wanted to obviously get this video out for the weekend and I was fairly tired when I started the sketch and the proportions of the the bot on the left hand side was fairly off. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with uh, using an eraser. You just got to be careful with the uh, the paper. You don't want to sort of rub too hard or damage the surface of the paper. This paper I'm using is Bockingford, so it should be fine. I've just lightly gone over with the eraser. So with with this scene itself, with them being boats, you want them to look um, as as real as possible or or as just believable. So if you've got any sort of lines that are slightly out or just the wrong angle, uh, it's just not going to look right. So that's what I wanted to just correct. So I'm just going in and, and, and adding um, new lines just so that I'm happy with the composition so that when I add the paint well, there's no sort of turning back there so I, the pencil stage is quite important it's just a plan of the painting and once that you're happy with the um, pencil the sketch the outline and that's when you can move on to a watercolor so I'm just going to speed up this video I don't want you to see all the pencil work uh, just speeding up nicely uh, just to get into the painting itself You might have noticed that I did say um, to get these as realistic or as believable as possible. Um, they are slightly different from the photograph. I'm not going exact the same as the photograph. As you can see, I've brought the boats a bit close together and the angle's not so um, exactly the same. But I'm happy with that and I'm going to continue to the watercolour part.
Okay, you might have noticed I've just added a couple of darker details that to the left boat and I've also included the um, sign on the front and this is the exciting stage I think where I can pull things together this is where things either begin to work or not so I'm using this uh, gouache to just bring out the line on the boat and just a few highlights here and there and I'll also be using ink pen uh, my microns and possibly I think the sepia pens as well as a white gel pen so this is just for the final details and the uh, <clears throat> sort of line work things like that um, so this is an, ex an exciting stage of the process. Um, by the way, if you're still watching and you've been here from the beginning, then please do give us a thumbs up. It's just um, be nice to uh, get some recognition for this video. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do consider to subscribe. I do bring videos like this each and every week. Um, and if you sort of want to um, develop or you want to learn some more watercolor techniques and it's a great place to sort of start just um, hit that like and subscribe to my channel and you can see more videos such as this one so just really adding just little details here and there just wanted to sort of get things right it was getting a bit late last night it's been a, um, a busy weekend really um, it was getting a bit late last night with those pens and I didn't want to um, for it to go too dark um, where our paint is in my conservatory so there's plenty of nice light during the day but obviously with these short nights um, I'm kind of limited in sort of the hours that I can put in so I had to stop again last night and uh, just come back to it this morning and I just put in the final sort of bits and pieces in now to add the whites you can actually, for, for the whites you can actually use masking fluid. I did consider using that just to show you, um, but I'm I'm not a massive fan. Um, I think I need some sort of brush to apply the masking fluid because all my brushes are quite new and um, I don't have any spur to, to sort of do that. Um, but let me know what you think put, put leave a comment in the comment section if you do use masking tape and sort of any tips um, I have used it a few times when I first started watercolor painting but I think as you get used to leaving your highlights and sort of uh, you get used to um, the water control and uh, things like that I think it becomes a bit easier and it, masking tape is less sort of necessary having said that i do have three or four sort of bottles of it so i don't really use it anymore um so yeah i hope you like this video i'm just going to speed up to the end and then uh, we'll talk about it at the end
Okay, this is one of my favourite, favourite, favourite things to do once you've finished a painting is unveil, just by taking the masking tape off, it gives you that nice crisp clean edge, or should do, and you can see little bits of paint that just sort of come out of the masking tape, but I think overall it does give you a nice um, sort of border, so it, it gives you a nice idea. Okay, so this is the uh, look like the only that I've up. got that a similar size. In fact, let's uh, uh, see if I've got a frame just gives or a you mount a nice idea to of what fit this. Like I've got a frame. Have. Let's have a... And there we have it, a finished painting. I hope you like this painting. Like I said, it's a painting of boats, realistic or believable. At least believable, and that's what I've gone for. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.